What's up guys? Welcome back. The holidays are quickly approaching. That means it's time to reach into the dessert bag and pull out some delicious banana pudding. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, enough running my mouth. Time to get in the kitchen and make it happen. If you thought we were using box pudding, then shame on you. We're definitely making this from scratch. Going in with some whole milk and some granulated sugar, along with some egg yolks and some cornstarch. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients are in the description box below. I actually ended up doubling this recipe when I realized my serving dish was much larger than the amount of pudding that I was making. So just check the description box for the specific measurements. One key tip on making your pudding is you don't want to overwork it because you can break up the binding properties and you won't have nice and thick pudding. So just stir it every one to two minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our vanilla extract and a tablespoon or two of butter. We're going to remove this from the heat when we add this in and then just mix it in until it's well blended. And then you want to place that into a mixing bowl allow it to come to room temperature and then pop it in the refrigerator for two to three hours. Here you'll see me adding in my second batch of pudding. Hey, I'm not gonna argue. I need uh, more pudding for me to eat anyway, right? Looking good. This is how thick it's looking after two to three hours. About as thick as we've gotten after gaining our uh, quarantine 15. I'm not judging. All right, now that that's done, it's time to make an amazing caramel drizzle, which starts with uh, just sugar going right into our pot here. One cup of white sugar to be exact. Once that's melted down, you want to keep whisking it until it melts, as you see me doing right here. It's a little bit of a tedious process. Just keep working it with your wooden spatula. This is how you make caramel sauce from scratch. Looking good. All right, now once your sugar has melted, you wanna remove it from the heat and then add in six tablespoons of butter. It's gonna bubble up pretty violently like that, so don't be alarmed. Just keep mixing until that butter melts. The situation will calm down, and then it's time to add in the star of the show, just to get the party started. A little 99 bananas liqueur, partially because I'm a little bit of an alcoholic. Hey, don't judge me, I won't judge you. That's totally optional though. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. Next, we're adding in our heavy cream, about a half cup to be exact. You wanna mix that in as well. As I said, guys, this is off the heat. So we're just using the residual heat to mix everything in. And there you have it, my friends, an amazing caramel drizzle that's gonna pair beautifully with this banana pudding that we're making. I added a pinch of salt in there as well. liquid gold Jesus somebody called Werther's original for my young folks that's the candy that your grandmother keeps in her purse all right moving on to the bananas you want them to be nice and ripe how do I know they're ripe well you got to taste as you go that piece is for me nice little snack once you've determined that they're nice and ripe we're gonna slice them into small circles about a quarter of an inch thick or so no right or wrong way to do this. Banana pudding is definitely top five dessert for me, guys. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments how you make your banana pudding. Try not to eat all of your bananas like me. Go ahead and place them in a mixing bowl once you got them all chopped up. And now it's time to plate this up. I have a nice, beautiful glass here that I'm gonna use for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna start with one layer of pudding. Smooth that out evenly. Followed by some vanilla wafers. A nice layer of those. And guys, I'm going over the top here because this is gonna be my Thanksgiving preparation. Adding a little Lorna Dune to cookies as well. Mostly because they're absolutely delicious. Uh, but you can, you know, add whatever cookies you like to this one or the other or both hey like I said this is for Thanksgiving so let's uh, let's do it the right way once you have your layer of cookies down we're going down with a layer of bananas 
I like to layer my banana pudding. You can just do one layer if you're making a smaller batch. But for the holidays, I like to jazz it up a little bit, so. Looking good. Now I'm going in with some Cool Whip. So right now we have a layer of pudding, followed by a layer of cookies, a layer of banana, and then a layer of Cool Whip. You can go as light or heavy on the Cool Whip as you want. Now I'm going down with that amazing caramel sauce. Just add a little bit more decadence. This pudding is richer than Jeff Bezos. You definitely want to eat it in moderation. That's why I'm saving it for the holidays. Once you've added that caramel drizzle, we're going down with another layer of pudding. And then essentially you're just going to repeat that process that I just showed you with all the layering. If you have a nice glass dish right here, you have to be real patient and try to make it pretty. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know patience isn't necessarily my strong suit, but I made it, made it through this just fine. Probably because of that 99 bananas. Another beautiful layer of cookies. And then more bananas. I think you guys are seeing kind of where we're going with this. Followed by more Cool Whip. I personally like a good cookie ratio in my banana pudding. As always with most dishes, you know, you can kind of tweak this to whatever your preference is. I think the Lorna Dune and the uh, caramel drizzle is a nice touch. Make it extra special. But you can do a basic version of this as well. You can even use box pudding. Just don't tell me about it. One more layer of cookies. This is pretty. Nice and therapeutic. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Again, banana pudding is one of my childhood favorites, so I definitely took my time with this one. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm trying to impress you a little bit with all the theatrics. Now I'm adding some more uh, whipped cream. A couple Lorna Dunes just to, you know, garnish this bad boy a little bit. A few more wafers just to make the top nice and pretty and presentable. Remember you eat with your eyes first. It's all about presentation. Oh man, a little caramel drizzle just to set it off. Trademark money shot for you guys. If this isn't food porn, I don't know what is. And you know I gotta try this. I'm going in deep. Got to make sure I get some cookies, some banana. Oh, man. Got it all over my face. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I'm going to enjoy this, though. And I hope you guys do, too. That's my recipe for banana pudding. Please give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for your support.